Imagine you've just had surgery. You're groggy, you're waking up from the anesthetic, you're tired, there's tubes in your arms, and it's been about 18 hours since you had anything to eat, so you are starving. You anxiously await the arrival of a hospital tray, and when it arrives, you lift the lid to uncover two dry pieces of roast beef, an ice cream scoop of lean mashed potatoes, and there's some boiled peas rolling around on the plate. There's a plastic cup of cold coffee and a little container of fruit cocktail that's come out of a can. And no butter and no salt on the tray continue the theme of tastelessness. You could also end up with this tray. Hospital food is made with the cheapest available ingredients using the least amount of human contact possible to minimize on the cost of labor. We live with the privilege of universal health care, but some parts of this system do not work. We boast about our innovative and uncompromising medical care system, but we have completely dismissed the importance of wholesome, nutritious food in this effort. Currently, in Ontario, it costs about $1,200 a day for a hospital bed, and the average length of stay is between four and six days. Yet, we spend under $10 a day to feed a patient. And that $10 gets you three meals worth of a bland monochrome of edible food-like substances. <laughs> and because of this, hospital food has become famously ridiculed. Now, I need to be clear about something here. The poor quality of food served to patients in a hospital has nothing to do with the skill and dedication of the hospital kitchen staff and everything to do with what they are given to work with. Hospital cooks across the province have been making it work for years with increasingly narrowed budgets. And they all know that the food they are serving to patients is not the best that they could be serving. The truth of this lies in the waste. Just over 40%, in some cases, just over 40% of the food that is put on patient trays is returned to the kitchen. This means that almost half, my friends, almost half of the food that we serve patients in a hospital just takes a long road to the garburator. And when surveyed, patients give a mediocre review, shrugging their shoulders, saying, well, for hospital food, is not that bad. I am here today to tell you, my friends, that our standards are far too low. I am sick and tired of seeing more lousy evidence of years worth of budget cuts, aren't you? Thank you. <laughs> the situation is that bad, and what we need now is change. We must remember that this is our system and our money that is being so terribly misspent. But there's good news. There is a new vision for hospital food, and it is one that puts wholesome, sustainably sourced, fresh food at as high a priority as the medical care that you receive. I have just started working on a project at a hospital here in Toronto to uplift the food culture and redefine hospital food. And I'm here today to share my ideas for a new vision for food in hospitals. The most compelling reason to serve hospital patients good food is because it is simply the right thing to do. It is more respectful to serve sick people good, real food. Imagine a scenario in a hospital kitchen where they receive farm fresh deliveries of produce and the staff work busily making beautiful meals with love and care. On the tray might be a bowl of congee or a little simple salad or even one perfectly ripe, juicy peach. Everything on the tray is exactly what the patient ordered in a conversation with a human being who visits them at bedside every day. This will create a system that actually works. And we can all be proud of this next step in our continued leadership in healthcare around the world. We have a real opportunity here to make a small investment now for greater savings and rewards later. Spending more money on food in hospitals will reduce our impact on the healthcare system in the future. 
investing in the labor required to make that fresh food will create a culture of security for hospital kitchen staff who constantly feel like their jobs are on the chopping block due to sort of incessant rounds of budget cuts. This is Debbie. Debbie is our lead cook in the kitchen, and Debbie has recently traded in her usual hospital scrubs for 20-year-old chef's whites that she dusted off from the laundry room because she is so thrilled to finally be cooking again. Now, the Ontario cherries on top of this, my friend, <laughs> is that good food for patients in a hospital is also good for business. There is an opportunity here to make a substantial reinvestment into a local economy. And the buying power of hospitals can really, really nurture agricultural and local economies, giving our farmers some much needed job security. Ontario strawberries were the first things that hit the trays this season at the hospital. And the farmer who grew them was over the moon with excitement at the thought that his fruit was being served to patients in the hospital. In a message to me, he wrote, so you mean you are actually going to be using Ontario tax dollars to buy Ontario food to feed Ontario patients? Uh, a truly sustainable food culture involves the reanimation of all of the people involved in the journey from farm to plate. This is about celebrating all of the hands involved in getting meals on the table and the collective effort that's required to pull this off. In addition to all of the good food on the trays is a note from the kitchen and the farm wishing patients a speedy recovery. And on the farm is a sign with a stake saying, earmarking rows of crops for folks in the hospital. We can no longer, isn't that a great photo? We can no longer let budgets dictate how we care for patients. And we must, right now, reinvest in the value of human effort. Hospitals are places where we heal, we nurse wounds, and we recover. And hospitals, I'm telling you this, hospitals have an incredible opportunity right now to take a leadership role in the good food revolution. A sustainable food culture around a hospital will, will create sort of a community food hub around the hospital, extending the principles of health and wellness far beyond the four walls of the building. There's a weekly farmer's market on site and, uh, and cooking classes for patients so that they can learn to feed themselves just as well when they go home. Local chefs and farmers are regular members of the hospital community visiting to cook special meals and to teach workshops to staff and patients. On the trays, on the other side of the note on the trays, is a recipe formatted to look like a prescription, sending a very clear message that good food is just as much a part of recovery as rest and medication. And in the gift shop, they sell cookbooks and jars of soup and dry mixes for the baked goods that are on the inpatient menu, because patients swear that the best they have ever eaten was when they were in the hospital. My friends, we can redefine hospital food, and we can make hospital food the standard by which excellence in food is measured. Our health and our lives are surely worth the effort. Thank you very much.